Staying in touch is just a few clicks away. Get the latest news from a Catholic perspective and so much more. Become a RealCatholicTV.com premium member today. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Blunt injustice. Federal lawmakers in Washington have tabled the idea of freedom of choice when it comes to health care, rejecting the value of conscience rights with regard to contraception coverage. The Respect for Rights of Conscience Act was effectively killed yesterday in a 51 to 48 vote, a measure that would have let religious organizations and even non-religious employers off the hook when it comes to contraception forced into their health care plans. Though Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri fought opposition to his bill on the, on the Senate floor, Democrats took to party lines, voting against the bill, decrying it as an attack on women's health care. Public schools, private worship. Churches may continue to hold worship services in public schools, for now, thanks to judges in New York City. You may remember the controversy over whether or not Big Apple religious congregations will be banned from holding worship services in public school buildings has been ongoing since last year. This court battle is far from over, though, as the Second District Court of Appeals tells city government that their ban of worship services from public schools will not be enforced and may not be enforced at all, depending on the outcome of a lower court case, a lawsuit brought by the Bronx Household of Faith. The judge taking that case, though, Loretta A. Preska, says the church has demonstrated it would suffer irreparable harm if kicked out of public school 15 and is likely to win its lawsuit against the city, which is based on First Amendment rights. Miscarriage of justice. A Scottish court is ruling that it's okay to clamp down on the conscience rights of Catholic midwives and force them to take part in abortions. Two Scottish midwives, Mary Dugan and Concepta Wood, took their case before the Court of Session in Edinburgh, arguing that their rights not to, quote, delegate, supervise, and support staff partaking in abortions or providing care to patients during the process, end quote. The judge ruled in favor of their employer, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, saying that because they were a labor ward coordinators who did not have any, quote, direct involvement in abortions, they had no right to complain. Mary and Concepta, two nurses, filed the suit after they found out that abortion procedures would be moved to the labor ward they were working in at Southern General Hospital in Glasgow. Neither one of the nurses is actively working for the hospital at this time, one having quit her job over the violation of her conscience rights. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Gay marriage in Maryland. A new law in Maryland legalizing homosexual marriage has been signed into law by dissenting Catholic governor Martin O'Malley. True marriage supporters in Maryland have vowed to bring the law to the ballot for a referendum and are beginning to work on collecting the 56,000 signatures they need to make the vote a reality. Multiplying mosques. New research reveals that the number of mosques in America has almost doubled over the past decade. The surprising new study is called the American Mosque 2011. The increase in Islamic centers in the U.S., which is now at 2,106, increased despite post-9-11 protests. Many may remember the backlash against the proposed Islamic center near Ground Zero, which wound up opening in September of last year. And while the Muslim presence continues to grow in the United States, non-Muslims in the military are now almost completely banned from accessing the Koran. In response to the recent accidental Koran burnings in Afghanistan, only U.S. soldiers with military dog tags identifying them as Muslim can obtain copies of the book from a chaplain. The only exceptions are non-Muslim soldiers who have their commanders write a memo requesting the book 
for a specific reason. Gaga's new group, controversial pop star Lady Gaga, appeared at Harvard on Wednesday to promote her new organization, the Born This Way Foundation. Named after her 2011 song, the foundation will, quote, foster a more accepting society where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated, end quote. Gaga was joined at the launch by notable names like Oprah, Kathleen Sebelius, and Deepak Chopra. The singer said there will even be a, quote, born brave bus that will follow her tour bus and spread her message of tolerance. However, not everyone's on board with her message. A group of concerned parents from British Columbia are protesting after children in British, British Columbia were spotted on YouTube dancing to Gaga's Born This Way during the school-sponsored Day of Pink. Organizers say the day, quote, raises awareness to stop homophobic, transphobic, and all forms of bullying. But BC parents and Teachers for Life see it as a day to indoctrinate children into the homosexual worldview. Parents wrote letters to BC Premier Christy Clark and Education Minister George Abbott saying that the video for Gaga's hit pop song contains scenes of simulated group sex, masturbation, semi-nudity, a birth scene, and many crotch-grabbing shots, employing lyrics that would espouse a, quote, worldview which is offensive to most religions as well as even atheism. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. Also be sure to check out The Vortex where Michael suggests a cure for some popular myths. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.